It's a Beyond Strong Master Lee. And Lulu. All right, another Beetlejuice trailer. Hopefully this time they get a little bit of the plot synopsis. Mm -hmm. Curious to where they take this. Now that we had a chance to go back and watch the first one, you've never seen it. <laughs> never. And I was like, okay, I got to show you because it's like it was such a great movie from what I remember back in the day. Yeah. You're hyping it. And then now you're like. <laughs> well. It's when still I, good. Oh, so it's still good. You actually did enjoy it. It's still good, but the way you explain it was just like... Well, let's just put it this way. Your reaction to it throughout felt, I don't know, almost like you were just underwhelmed. Like you were like... That was it? <laughs> That's it? <laughs> and maybe I overhyped it. But, you know, I kind of felt that too. You know, at first as I was watching it, maybe about halfway through, I'm like, you know, this was a lot more quirky than I remember. Even like odder than I remember. But it wasn't as fantastical. It wasn't like super CGI late in effect. It wasn't like big or bombastic. I think the problem is like over time, right? This is a great example of like what movies were like back then and today. I think back then they took the time to develop a plot, right? It kind of built slowly and it got a little bit weirder and weirder. While today people just expect like, bam, action right away. Big action scene from the beginning, big effects already. And it just gets you to a point where you think like it's got to be like that. Otherwise, it ain't going to be interesting. And this movie wasn't like that. It was kind of an indie budget type of movie. Mm. This was a bit before everyone was even big and famous, if you will. It was amazing for its style. It's totally wild plot concept. Yeah. And, you know, the way the guy played Beetlejuice, too. Mm. So you piece it all together. It was a very fun memory. But, yeah. yeah. Back then, that was already awesome. Can you imagine like the face? With uh, scary faces and... I think even today, it's still really awesome. But it's corny. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard <laughs> to describe. I mean, if you guys go back and watch it, you'll see, right? Like, you knew that we're like, man, this is so ridiculous, right? Whereas I, today, I think they would try to do it in a way where it looks real. All right, I'm really hoping that this new one doesn't lose some of that original cornball kind of fakish feel. Because it does feel like it's part of its charm now. Like, if they decide to do, like, mean. a pure CGI, you know, with big budget to make the, like, say, the, the undead world feel real. Real. Then I feel like, mm, no, nah, you're, you're kind of missing the point. It should feel like that local haunted house that you go to on Halloween that you paid, like, 10 bucks for, right? Like, those kind of props, mm -hmm. if you will. Really? You don't want it to evolve no, I, into, I don't like... want it to be too CGI. I, I feel like that's the killer, the death of everything today, where it's just like, ah, mm -hmm. you know, I'll buy into the fact that it's, like, like that. But I go back and I think about the charm was in its low budgetness. <laughs> Anyways... Let's check out this latest trailer. By the way, one more cool reactions. Make sure you subscribe. And if you want some hotness, check out my fantasy show. Only for my fans. I can't peep. <laughs> when you're can't really people hard don't hard want her in this Pilates movie. Instructors to fill the empty voids in your life. We'll see who gets the last laugh. I mean, she's perfect. Thought? My mom grew up here. Uh, you know the house know. now. Wait, the ghost house? Is your mom Lydia Dietz? Unfortunately. She's a legend. A legend. The, living, the dead. Can they coexist? <laughs> now it's my chance. It's chance. Ghosts aren't real. Only gullible people believe that kind of crap. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. <laughs> I need you to help me save my daughter. Like, how do I know that you're going to keep your word? I swear on my dead mother's soul. <laughs> <laughs> Bob, you and the boys stand guard. Nobody gets through. Oh, he's going Nobody. to the underworld for yes! the future. I recognize this post. Never seen that chip before in my life or afterlife. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm needed upstairs. Bob, hold down the fort. <laughs> Spill your guts. <laughs> Who wants to go first? All right, I will. <laughs> I'm willing to do the work. <laughs> do that thing for my dream. Really more nightmare material. Confronted the unknown. <laughs> 
conquering your fears. <sighs> There's nothing harder. What the f Thank you all for coming to this special occasion, but right now with like a little privacy. Ah! Ah! There are actually a lot of interesting callbacks to the original. Yeah, I'm really glad we saw it again. Like the face stretching, the yes! uh, the shrunken head dude. Yes, the character. Right, there's more than one before. of them now. You see, they literally run a whole wow. office. Wow, I think you're gonna love it because your wish is happening. I, I think okay, so it does look like it is retaining some of that old school practical effects charm, and I think it is actually capturing one of the things that you felt like was missing which is like the sense of adventure. You would mm. think like you're going to be able like the Coco. I can't believe we're comparing a Coco to Disney cartoon. <laughs> but Coco went on an adventure in the Wonder World. And that's kind of felt like that's what we want. And they're given that. Because that's the first movie was just in the house. That was it. Mm -hmm. It was, he no, comes they in. Do, they do go adventure a little bit, but then it's not, it's short enough. It's not even really like an adventure in the first one. It's almost more like that's they were just stuck in the office of hell, mm -hmm. right? They, they That's as far as they got. They never, you know, they did meet some of the sandworms, but they just came and like, there was just this blips. Right, I hope right. that they do flesh out that side of the world because I think there's so much they can do the go crazy. Yeah. What's the uh, the lady with the staples all over? That's uh, Monica Blue. I don't know who she is, though. But she was not on the original, I right? I don't remember. Yeah, I don't think she mm. was or even referenced from the original. But she does seem like she's the villain in this one and is coming after Beetlejuice mm. for some reason. And he looks afraid of her. Mm, looks like he might have jilted her and uh, <laughs> left her for something. Or maybe uh you know one night stand gave her worms <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs>